English floral tea versus Mexican fun tea on today's episode. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we have a international battle of the teas, sort of, not really. So these are both made by Vita, as in Vita Soy and Vita Lemon Tea. It is a Hong Kong-based beverage company, and they mostly deal with non-carbonated drinks, as near as I can tell, so soy milk, obviously, and also tea drinks, and they've gone international. So today we have two new flavors. I think these are the only two country ones, but I could be wrong. English floral tea, which is elderflower and apple tea drink, and we have, perhaps exotic for Hong Kong, we have the cactus fruit and pomegranate tea drink, also known as Mexican fun tea. So are cactus fruits fun? I don't know. Cactus is not so much fun. Um, I've I've, I've, st- I've stuck myself on cactus, but cactus oh. in in Mexico that that's super like northern Mexico. We eat it, you know that, right? Yeah, but not like everywhere in Mexico though. Mm. It's only like in the border part, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the north part, the desert part. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of I don't know plays on a Mexican stereotype. Like, I guess so. From American point of view, at least. So so Daphne's American. I mean Daphne's Mexican. I'm American. Um, you know, the American Tex-Mex kind of stereotype of Mexico is all like, you know, Sonora Desert type stuff. When in fact, obviously the True. rest of Mexico is not really like that, right? True. 90% of Mexico is not really like that, right? I guess. <laughs> but you're from, you're from Mexico City, right? Yeah. So yeah. are there any cactuses there? Mm-mm, but yeah. we eat it. Like, you do eat it. Okay. Like as healthy food. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> apparently there's that and pomegranates. Pomegranates being famous for being very healthy too. Yeah. Yeah. So, that one we also eat a lot. So this should be good. And it is, according to the label, a taste of Mexico. We'll see. We'll see. So we have the, we have the, the real test here. And then on this side, taste of England, supposedly. Um, apples, not so specific to England, I would say. And elderberry, elderflowers, not elderberries, but elderflowers, to me that sounds more like Alpine, Central Europe kind of, you know, sound of music. I don't know. That's my, like Edelweiss kind of stuff. So we'll see, we'll see how that, <laughs> how English that is. I don't, I've, I have, I've actually tried this one and it was okay. This one, I have no idea how it's going to taste. We'll find out. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get them open and try both. So uh, which one do you want to start with? Mexico. Mexico, Yes. Much anticipated. Yes. <laughs> okay, so not carbonated. Okay. So it's pretty tea looking, kind of goldeny. Um, let me try some. Does it smell Taste like? Taste of Mexico. Does it? Mmm, interesting. Make you think of back home no. on the <laughs> on the hacienda or whatever. <laughs> do they have haciendas in Mexico City? We do. We do. Oh, we do. Okay. Quite. Some. Mm-hmm. Exotic. It. I guess I don't. Do I know what a cactus tastes like? Have you ever tried one? I'm not really. But at least this makes me think it tastes. I mean, I could definitely taste the pomegranate. Mm-hmm. I've had pomegranate juice before. Palm Wonderful's a pretty good drink, actually. Mm-hmm. Exotic. Exotic, yeah. But then you see a Mexican, so clearly Mexico is not an exotic place to me. Yeah, so if it's exotic to you, that's not a good sign, right? That means it doesn't taste authentic. It's not hearkening back to your youth when you were all sitting around a cactus drinking pomegranate and cactus. No, no, no. But it's good, though. The drink itself is good. I would say it's a unique flavor, Mm -hmm. for sure. Um, Very floral, kind of. The cactus fruit part somehow makes it taste more floral. Like like a, it might be just be that kind of tea also. Let me try to figure out what kind of tea. It's a green tea, probably. So I double checked and it's actually black tea. Oh, interesting. So it's not like a green tea. And it has cactus fruit extract and pomegranate juice and concentrate, acidity regular, yada, 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 vitamin C. So uh, it's pretty good. Vitamin C? Yeah, mm. it should be healthy. Healthy then. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar level is actually quite reasonable, um, 4.5 grams per 100 milliliters. Okay. Keep in mind that a Coke is 10.3, so this is pretty healthy, relatively healthy. Um, not a lot of added sugar. I mean, it does it definitely is, has sugar. Sugar is like the second thing before the tea even, but relative to uh, sodas, this is actually pretty pretty decent. 
Okay, so in general, though, you're per- I like rel- it. relatively positive, right? Just not... Because I like both. Yeah. Like, I will eat them. And it's, it's fresh. It tastes good. Um, it's floral. I like it. Okay. Let's I like it. compare to elderflowers and apples okay. from England, <laughs> supposedly. Um, I've never been to England. Let's see. Okay. I'll figure it out. I have been to England. I don't think I had any apples while I was there. Um, and elderflowers. I have had an elder... Was it elderflowers or elderberries? I had... I had one Romanian, there was like a Romanian limited edition Fanta that they imported into Japan. Okay. It was like a special world edition, and I think it was Elder somethings. Uh, Next up, we have the Fanta World Flavor Series, uh, and it's from Romania. It's called Socata, <laughs> and from the picture, it looks like it's some sort of lemon lime with I flowers on juice. it, and it's uh, 3% juice, okay. and I did not like it at all. So I'm going to be, I'm guessing I'm liking that one more than this one. We'll see. Although I like apple drinks. I've never been to England, but the smell and the percep- like the perception I have towards yeah. England is not this drink. Yeah, for sure, not this drink. Because <laughs> I think it's very uh, fresh and exotic smell as well. Yeah, it definitely has yeah. some fragrance to it, which would be obviously the flowers, right? Apple. <laughs> yeah, apple's definitely the stronger of the two. What is it? Apple and? Elder flowers. Okay. So, yeah, whatever those things are. It smells like tea. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually... Ah, this one is green tea. Mm. Interesting. So it makes it even more floral then, I guess. So water, sugar, green tea, apple juice concentrate, elder flower extract, flavoring, acidity, regular vitamin C. So, yeah. Um... This one, 4.8 grams of sugar per 100 milliliters. So slightly more sugar than this, but both of them pretty good stuff. Mm-hmm. 4.5, 4.8. Coke is 10.3. I like it. Yeah. But it's definitely not how I think England smells yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say the other thing is um, I like apple juice. Okay. I don't like apple juice and tea that much. Mm. Right? So I would rather just have an apple drink. So I do think. you like the drink? This one I won't buy again, I think. Oh, no, th- this one I won't buy again. This one, I I mean, I have drank it, and it's I good. did buy it again, and I would consider, consider it. Like, in this case, I would say, for example, my wife, who's Japanese, who doesn't like sodas and sweet stuff that much, she, she probably like would it. prefer this mm. a lot more. So I might end up drinking it for her or drinking it, finishing hers. <laughs> I like this one the best. This one. Yeah, so if it's a... Either or, I think we're both definitely going yeah. for the for the Mexico, mm-hmm. and it's just more fun after all, right? And I like the packaging too. Yeah, I mean it's got a nice kind of the packaging does remind me a little bit more of Mexico. Dynamicness. Sure. Well, it's a cactus, right? Mm. Very. And the green. <laughs> yeah, the green. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Mexican flag a yeah, little bit, right? It's, yeah. got, it's got the red and, and the green. The, yeah, you <laughs> got the colors of the yeah. flag. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so final verdict. Um, I guess, can you do one verdict for both, or do you want to give a verdict for each? For each. Okay, so, okay, final verdict on the England floral tea. Uh, sweet. It, it smells and tastes like tea, and the most strong uh, taste is apple. But it doesn't smell like... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell like England. Okay, that's, my that's, that's the final verdict. It doesn't yeah. smell like England. Okay, uh-huh. my <laughs> final verdict... This is actually the second take. My final verdict... On the England floral tea, I've been to England, but I don't remember seeing any damn elderflowers there, much less want it in my tea. Okay, so that's the final verdict for this guy. Mm-hmm. Pretty much two not thumbs up. Put it that way. Mm-hmm. Mexico fun tea, two thumbs up. And final verdict? Doesn't smell like Mexico, but it's a good a good uh, drink. Okay. Mm-hmm. Doesn't smell like Mexico, but it's good. Mm-hmm. So you're implying that Mexico... You're, you're talking about like the fragrance, the, yeah. the natural aromas of Mexico. For me, Mexico smells like fresh, but not this smell. <laughs> okay, to give the xenophobic, racist, ignorant American answer, when I when you say smells of Mexico, I think of like Ciudad Juarez or Tijuana. 
<laughs> okay, makes sense. Have you been to Mexico before? I yeah, I've been to Ciudad oh. Juarez, and I've been to, but I haven't been to like real Mexico. I've been to like, mm. like, hellhole. <laughs> no offense, but Ciudad, I mean, no, I get it though. Yeah. I get it. Ciudad Juarez, and this was like Ciudad Juarez in the in the early nineties. Probably. I have it was many worse. questions to you about Mexico now. because yeah. <laughs> you're American, so I need yeah. to ask. I have all the best and worst stereotypes. Um, mm-hmm. But anyway, I like all the ignorance of an American all wrapped up in the here. Um, but and yet I'm not, I'm actually not ignorant, but but I know what the... So th- do you think it smells like Mexico? No. Okay. Well, um, people agree on that. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. I would say my final verdict is um, um, not as fun as a night in Tijuana, but still pretty fun. Ah! Okay, fine. That's the other, that's the other stereotype of Tijuana. But um, anyway, okay. I could make some kind of jokes about like STDs and stuff like that but I'm not going to um, <laughs> okay. but that's that's the typical ignorant American joke that someone would make but I'm not going to make that because you tell me later yeah. I want to know I want to know now um, yeah so on that I'll leave it at there um, <laughs> this is going to be really hard to put Chinese subtitles on too but that's okay okay thank you very much for watching please come back and check out our other videos. Uh, Daphne and I have done a couple videos both together and with our other colleague, Radhika, and sooner or later we'll convince some other uh, other people people to join join us too. So that's it for today. Uh, We actually have more drinks to do, so if you see us again in the same exact clothes, um, that's why. Okay, (laughs) see you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we're going to try Coca-Cola Apple. I'm here with my son. In Japan, just got this at a family mark today. Apparently, Coca Cola.